Welcome back to Animal of the Week. This week's animal is the Mexican Mole Lizard, a cute worm-like animal that seems to be going through an identity crisis, unsure whether it wants to be a lizard or a worm. These adorable little lizards live mainly in Baja, California, and enjoy the hot, rocky deserts of the region. They spend most of the time underground and are rarely seen because of it. These lizards can only survive in rockier deserts, opposed to sandy ones like the Sahara, because their tunnels would collapse too easily in sandy deserts, trapping and suffocating them. Baja California has a mainly desert and Mediterranean climate, with temperatures in summer reaching around 47 degrees Celsius, explaining why these reptiles spend so much time underground. As Mexican mole lizards are only small, around 27 centimeters long, they can only feed on small things such as ants, termites, and small lizards. Though they mainly eat ants and termites, anything around the right size becomes a meal to a Mexican mole lizard. When hunting above ground, they will pull their catch underground into their tunnels to eat it, so they do not get preyed upon themselves. We aren't entirely sure how long these adorable reptiles live for, but one specimen in captivity died at the age of three years old, but females are known to reach sexual maturity at three and a half years old, so in the wild, Mexican mole lizards must live much longer. These are reptiles, so they lay eggs, around two to four in each clutch. Gestation is around two months long, and then the babies will hatch, but due to the lack of knowledge of these animals, we don't know if the mother cares for the young at all. Studies have found that unlike many reptiles, Mexican mole lizards' clutch sizes and reproductive success rates are not affected much by rainfall rates. Clearly one adaptation stands out above the rest in this animal, its arms. These arms are where the Mexican mole lizard gets the name mole from. The structure of the arm looks incredibly like that of a mole, with long fingers, a large surface area, and claws. They are obviously used to burrow just like a mole, and is an excellent example of convergent evolution, where two unrelated animals have evolved to have almost identical adaptations. Mexican mole lizards have another amazing adaptation. Like many lizards, they can detach their tails. If under attack, the Mexican mole lizard may burrow down into the sand and detach its tail to block the entrance to its pursuer. However, this adaptation has one drawback. They cannot regrow their tail after, so this is only a one-time bonus. Mexican mole lizards also have a vestigial trait. They possess vestigial bones that are what remains of their hind legs and show that they used to look much more like a conventional lizard. Evolution-wise, the Mexican mole lizard is part of the order Squamata, alongside lizards, snakes, and Amphisbania, the group the mole lizard is part of. It is believed that the crown group of Squamata originated in around the early Jurassic. These animals are obviously small and worm-like, making them an excellent prey for birds and small to medium-sized carnivores and omnivores, so they do face threats from that. But because they spend all day underground and only come to the surface at night, they do not get preyed on too much. Their underground lifestyles also protect them from humans, and the only real threat to them is the illegal pet trade, but this is thought to have little to no effect on their populations. Because of how few threats they are and the stable populations, their class is least concern, and let us hope it stays that way. Thank you for watching this video, I really hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. If you'd like to learn more about our world, its history, and the wonderful life that surrounds us all, Please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you think we deserve it, and if you'd like to see more from us.